All right, welcome back to SOS. Some stuff talking about us, and today we are going to be discussing a bug out bag project that I'm working on. I, I, I want this to be called like perk, but perk is an actual thing. It actually is a bag that exists. Personal emergency recreational kit, but I, I don't want to call this a bug out bag because it's going to be used for family camping and so many other things. It's going to be a functional bug out bag. So. I'm going to take you through this. I'm doing electronics today. This also includes comms. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm doing this. I, I do this every year and uh, I want to build a different bag this time. Personal emergency recreational kit is because a lot of life for Sippy and I is kind of like, you know, on our adventures, we do a lot of family camping and crap always seems to happen. And I, uh, I don't want to go digging in another kit. So I kind of want to have everything in one uh, one kit so it makes life a little bit easier so I'm not mixing things up. So it's kind of like the magic, the crazy insane magic school bus, which looks something like this. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Oh. happen to you you just blow up like that all right so uh, please share this with your comfort animals and uh, your comfort goldfish uh, your therapy kitten anyway uh, please share the videos all right so uh, this is uh, this is an adapter for this Olight which is the Nova and this is part of Sippy's gear and I'm kind of wanting to show the incor incorporate kind of how uh, the two of us are going to build our kits and she has an adventure kit as well. And her, let's see, these batteries are quite the same. They're the same batteries in each one of these, like this headlamp that I have over here. But some folks don't want to spend quadruple amounts of money on something like this. And they want the same thing, but they don't want, they, they're like, man, drill it over it. And it's, it gets, you know, stuff gets expensive. This is a very bright light that gets bright enough that you can actually light things on fire. But a lot of folks don't talk about other headlamps, and I have one here that I like a lot, and let's just take this off my kit. All right, so this one is the uh, TH30, and has a uh, charging port here. You just peel that back. There's your charging port. When it charges, it turns, it lights up blue. It's red when it's dead, and uh, simply takes the same exact battery. just want to show you that real quick. Uh, same battery so uh, both of these are adaptable adaptable and I'm gonna get further into this as we go clip as well everything you need uh, it's uh, gets insane it's 33 3300 lumens on uh, the turbo mode and you have you have a high that's uh, 1275, you have a medium that's three, uh, 352, and a low that's 130, and then it gets lower, and it gets to 25 lumens, and then down to 0.5, and, uh, and then SOS is at 645. So people like to know that stuff. But yes, uh, I, this is what I rock in my kit. And uh, Sippy Rocks, that one, they're adaptable so the batteries can be exchanged and things. It's very important. So uh, with this kit, with this light here, it does all those same functions, the Firefly mode and all that stuff. So, uh, But price-wise, it's extremely different. So if you're looking for something like that, I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys because I get asked that a lot. And uh, this was given to me by Cross, uh, Cross Blessed Outdoors. He... Um, uh, he is very helpful and he puts out some great videos and uh, you should check him out so you simply air this thing up lung power all right so once that's aired up you can hang this this is luma aid for those of you that are going to ask me that question luma aid all right hangs so you can hang it from stuff. It collapses. This wraps around it and closes it up. And you can snap it onto stuff. Uh, it has an end power indicator. This one's unique because, man, you just set it out in the sun for a few uh, matter of seconds. 
and uh, it gets pretty crazy. The power setting, it'll tell you what the power is at, and uh, it likes different colors, so it's a lot of fun to play with. Hang on a second. All right, so here we go. So you have, there's your power indicator, like I said, and then there's your light functions. It's pretty cool. Ooh, it's a spaceship. So you can frighten people with this. You can just tell people it's a spaceship. It's all these wonderful colors. And uh, also for fun, I like to carry uh, glow-in-the-dark eyeballs as well. So I can frighten people. They wind up. So when you wind them up, they kind of just like, they can go separate directions. So people will think that that's like, you know what I mean? Like someone's eyeball fell out of their head. Anyway. Okay, let's get serious. All right, so... My kits, I've got a couple of kits here. This is nothing but comms, and this is um, lights and charging and things like that. So I figured this would be pretty unique to be able to bring to you guys today. Uh, let's see. Someone's probably going to ask. I figured this would be a nice little waterproof box. You know, it's from Walmart. Some of the links I'll put below for those of you on the search. This is, the, uh, this is another affordable light. This is the TH20. I like dependable things, right? So this is the uh, TH20. This is for my son because I don't want him having it in his bag because he might use it as a hammer or something. I don't know. So I just kind of keep it on standby for him. Just takes regular Duracell batteries. Let me just screw the cap on so I can do rechargeable batteries if I like. And this one is pretty nice and basic. I think it has some different modes. It goes up and down. It fades down to a firefly. And then it goes into uh, nothing, really. So uh, I thought that would be pretty neat just to have for my son. I also have this. Uh, this is the U UCO. And this thing is cool because you can unclip it and clip it onto stuff, right? It has this little elastic strap to it. So you can flip it onto stuff. And it also... It extends all the way and lets you turn it into a lantern. And it's just a double-A battery. And bring it all the way in like this. And then there you got your SOS. There you go. So nice little light. Has different power settings. Low and high. It's pretty nice. But I, I, I like this having it with the case. Really lightweight. Uh, hardly weighs anything. So uh, next up, let's see. For lights, I just want to make sure I cover lights. I have, now I'll probably have to show you this, but uh, here I've got the, this is the Netcore. I'm trying to remember, this is the MT-10C. MT-10C. All right, I'll, I'll probably have a link to this one as well. This is a Nightcore, and Nightcore is unique. I, I started, <laughs> you guys see a lot of unusual flashlights here, but uh, this one is really cool. It has a, uh, uh, I like the way it's set up with the clip and everything. So let's just unscrew this. And there's your C123 battery. And you can take this. That's rechargeable. This fits in this. This is cool. This is really cool. And I'm going to show you this in a minute. But uh, it goes in just like that. And this will charge all your batteries. It works with... Uh, double a triple a it works with uh, these guys over here uh, so it's a variety of different batteries I can charge with just that so it's a compact little charger that I can carry around also works on my solar panel which I'm gonna get to in a minute I have a solar panel in this kit Th this flashlight here for those of you that like weird flashlights this one's really cool uh, it does clip onto your hat as well so you can use it uh, for a headlamp or you have your different mode settings and you have a switch right here on the side of it. It's really low profile. Let me zoom in for you so you guys can see it. But there's a little, uh, there's switches here. And what happens, you can go, uh, you can go and change the brightness just by doing that. And it even changes to red. You can go solid red like that. So you can read maps and whatnot. But this thing gets, uh, gets up to 920 lumens, I believe. It's nothing real bright, but... That's that's what 920 lumens looks like right there on my hand. Uh, but anyway, you can turn it off and on by this. Once you've got this set, you just simply turn it off. So if it's on red, 
it'll stay on red and you just turn it on and there you go so but anyways that's the mt mt uh 10c by nightcore just in case someone's looking for it i'll have a link for that item below uh there's that someone wants to know about crash drop or whatever but i'll get to this item in just a second so to make this easier i went ahead and plugged this in i wanted to be able to show uh this feature here and you don't have to wall charge it i just figured this would probably work a little bit better uh for a demonstration of this item here this opens up here it's all the way out you have a section here that opens let's say it opens i can't remember how i did that there it is okay all right so there's that there's your usb port so you can unplug the usb in this if you've got something else you need to plug it into uh, so you can take this and remove it and put it away somewhere if you don't want to wrap it uh, but anyways this will plug into uh, So you got that, there's this, put this, as you were. Here we go, I got this. Try to remember, man. All right, USB or battery. Okay, so you can use this for two different ways. You can put a battery in here. Um, one more option that I had, I forgot. But you can plug, what you do is you plug into here. This will plug into said, said light or whatever. You know, uh, this one here, for example. You can plug into that and then put a power cell battery here and it will actually charge another item, like a phone or something. So I can take the battery out of this and put it in this, and I can charge my phone with this. It's, I, I'm trying to think redundancy when I put these things together. So uh, there's that, this goes in here, and then this guy will light up like this and start uh, telling you the percentage. And then you gotta find a battery that you need to charge, right? So let's just grab, let's just grab this one out of here. We already we're already set up with this. So I was just talking about it. This is made by Nightcore as well, another product by them. All right, so this goes in here and it'll tell you what percentage is that. It is at if you read that, it says it's at 85, no, 83 percent. So now if I leave that plugged in there, uh, there it goes. It's already moving. This will it rapid charges uh, items, so uh, batteries get charged pretty quickly and. Uh, this is another item that they sell. I'll have this in the drop down below for those of you asking. But uh, this guy here, uh, this is the uh, UM10. I think that's what this one's called, the UM10. But uh, you can basically, it's cool because I can take a battery. So if I want to convert this into, it says right here, if you look on the back side of this, it says USB or battery. Okay. So you flip that switch and you go from USB to battery. So I can take this, it's always good to explain these things because people are trying to build these packs and kits and things like that. And they're like, man, I need that, I need that. All right, let's just plug that in right there and you close this guy up and you go like this and then you go like that. So you would just put this in here and then uh, let's find something to charge. All right, let's see if this will actually work like this. I don't know if there's enough juice to NSC123 to show it probably won't but anyways this would be charging this item here so I got to put it on battery and so she is on battery I think that's right all right and that's plugged in all right is that working I think that's working okay so that's how that would work right uh, something along those lines all right but I just wanted to give that as an example of uh, multi-use items, right? So there's that. Uh, put that back in there. This back here. All right. Now I want to talk about the solar charger that I have in here as well. Let's move that to the side. So right in here, let's move this out of the way. And then uh, other thing to have with you is adapters. So uh, real quick, these are adapters for everything so all these different cords if you've got a cord shaped like this right this guy here which is pretty common with most of you guys out there you've got this cord so you want to go to a type C so you would simply attach this guy actually I grabbed the right one right off the bat but you would attach this guy onto here and now you're type C so you can go from type C so if you've got something unusual 
let's just say you have an apple, right? So there's an apple. Uh, I need to go to an apple, right? So someone's got an iPhone product out there and I need to charge it. I would just simply attach this onto here and now I can charge an iPhone. So uh, I keep these with me in this kit because I don't know uh, exactly who I'm going to run into that's got what and I want to be able to and I do this into a stick like this so these will all stay together just like that but I've also got an adapter for if you need to convert uh, cables different types of USB cables uh, another option for you so but that's another item that I carry with me and uh, a couple of different cords in case one goes bad or whatever and then in here this is the uh, aid top uh, aid top uh, solar charger this has a uh, in the back side of this guy here it has a, a very uh, huge battery pack and I don't want to carry around a bunch of little uh, fast charging battery packs and things like that a bunch of uh, random crap so I wanted it all to be one thing so I found this guy and yes this is another option for you but that's uh, aid top uh, add, add top there you go but it folds out like this guy here and then you have all of your so you can just set this out like this you don't have to do anything fancy you don't have to plug anything into it this will charge the power cell and then when you need power you just simply um, you just simply plug into it it's already charging now you can see it's it's already lit up there blues and greens it'll start lighting it's charging already but uh, it also has an external light if you want to use it uh, I think you just have to hold and it turns on there it goes but you have an external light here you can use I think you hold to turn it off and then here you have your USB ports just like this boom there's all your different ports so you got plenty of ports for charging and it folds up nice and neat just like that and has a little snap and like I said I did this kit like this so I can just kind of keep everything organized the next item that I have here that I like to carry around me because I like tunes, I like to listen to music, plus I like the option of having a, uh, there's a flashlight, more light, more light, why not? And there's the flashlight for that, there's the solar panel, uh, it flips up like this. This is made by Running Snail, and uh, you have, uh, you can do AAA, or you can do the lithium ion inside the uh, inside the radio itself it already has a battery built into it but back here in this section here yeah I'll pull it out i've got some cheap old batteries in there just to have some batteries you could put rechargeable batteries in there and use the uh if you switch over to the crank you can charge uh triple a batteries with this so simply pull your crank out now this takes time and energy a, a lot of people get confused when it when they they think uh, oh, well, I can just crank it a couple of times. No, it takes a little while. So you'll be cranking this for a while, and then you have the noise hazard. So when you're doing this at so many RPMs, it starts to get a little annoying. But uh, when it comes to these things, that's how that works. So you have a radio, so you can crank it up and listen to tunes. You have your antenna here. You have your charging ports here. You can charge this. You can charge the charge this item itself. It works as a charger. So you can plug cables and stuff. See where this is going crazy? It's just going crazy. So you got all these charging options for this thing. And it also has uh, your weather band. So you can you can focus on, you just kind of have to pull your antenna out. And then you tune, you tune in for your weather band. Sunny with a temperature of 62. It was fair with a temperature of 60 at Lexington. 59 See what I mean? So there you go. Now you've got uh, another option. You also have AM as well. So um, lots of options. Also has the SOS feature, which is ridiculous. It makes this loud siren and it flashes and goes crazy. So uh, if you use that in an emergency, like find me quick. So you can flip that on and it'll run on that. All right. There's that. Uh, I also have uh, uh, one item before I even... Uh, what <laughs> this is the waterproof bag to store everything inside my someone's gonna say hey What about a waterproof bag? I do have a waterproof bag for all this stuff and Let's get this out of the way now move into the next stage of this and 
This is the little comms kit. It's just a regular bag. You're going to see that a lot of the stuff that I'm putting together, this isn't very heavy. Uh, the things that I'm putting together is uh, to kind of detach from my bag. So if I'm at a campsite, I don't think I'm going to need this at the moment. I can leave this in the car and I'm camping and I just bring my bag. So uh, this would stay in the car or something or I can detach it, detach whatever. But the way I've got this set up, this is for emergency purposes, just so everyone knows out there. Uh, for in an emergency, I need stuff, but, uh, there's the antenna I have, um, over here in this section, these are throat mics. So the way they go, they go around your neck and these will press up against your throat. When you talk, uh, it exchanges into words through the mic, the cable. Uh, there's your earpiece. I have two different ones. This is a smaller one and this is the larger one. Uh, a lot of folks really know the larger one uh, more than they do the smaller one. Let me do, zoom in down a little bit so you can see that better. Like that. And there's your throat mic and everything. And then inside here, I keep a Slim Jim antenna right here. I'll just kind of slide that out. That is my Slim Jim antenna. This is for uh, using use of the radio if I'm using a ham. And I need to get, um, I would use paracord, toss into a tree, and I can lift this up uh, higher so I can get a better signal. Because unless you're on a straight plane with uh, a lot of the uh, ham radios out there, you're not going to get much of a signal. You're not going to get communication going with anyone. Uh, this does have a push to talk on here, the push to talk feature. And it also has a finger push to talk uh, method as well. You can leave it on your finger and kind of push it or whatever. But uh, this button will work fine. And uh, for charging purposes, I have a, a car adapter and USB, and I can charge. Uh, this goes into the Baofeng uh, kit. Uh, this is your uh, Baofeng battery. This is a battery pack. This is for emergency purposes, so all the nerds out there, they're like, eh, you can't throw your bed is. You know, uh, it's $10,000 a day every time you transmit your radio. So for those of you out there that think that, um, I'm not transmitting on this. It just sits in here. It's for emergency purposes, and that's why I have it. So I, uh, the item price being in a car all the time is better than me putting a $400 radio in a car, right, to sit and chill for someone to come jack it. So, so, so yes, a $25 to $30 radio is better. This is the UV5R. Uh, this is an adapter so that you can run AA batteries on a UV5R. Uh, or eight, whatever you've got, eight plus. There's another earpiece for those of you special forces guys out there. Special forces, Navy SEAL, um, uh, Green Beret guys. Uh, anyway, <laughs> they're all in one. They're all in one, and they're snipers. Okay, so uh, this is the Baofeng UV5R, and there's your little battery pack for it. Simple, easy. It's not turned on for all of you out there. Uh, this goes with my Rhino 650. The Rhino 650 has been around a while. They make upgrades to this. These things are expensive, so I don't plan on getting another one anytime soon. This one works fine. And uh, that's a battery pack, so you can run batteries with that. Uh, this simply goes in here like this. And this guy here. This is the Rhino 650. This is for uh, navigation. I'm trying to find my way. Uh, this will turn on. It's by Garmin. And uh, I can also push to talk. I can chat with folks. Uh, this is also a radio. Uh, I have uh, the other one is with a buddy of mine. He keeps the other one. But uh, if I'm tracking through a trail, I did a full video on this. But if I'm tracking through a trail, I can uh, I can link with the other Rhino 650, and I will know exactly where he is. So if he leaves the group for whatever reason, his radio still shows up on my map wherever he is so if he gets lost in the woods stumbles and falls into a bear bear eats him and the radio is still there then i will at least find the radio and recover that so uh, that's uh there's really cool features about these things now these have gone way beyond these things you can find these cheaper now online the old rhino 650s like this one and uh they make uh the uh, newer ones that they make today it's a pull up maps and everything all over. You can download features and stuff. 
uh, upgrade your character. My, I have a little emoji. He's like bearded, the bearded emoji that plays the character on this thing. So uh, <laughs> it's just like the Garmin's in cars pretty much, but it works on land uh, for walking. But uh, with these things, it is a cool feature that you can find the other person. So uh, hunting, fishing, things like that. This thing comes in really good, uh, really useful. Uh, there, but the, the, I've got the charging adapters and everything for that as well. And like I said, this is all just for emergency purposes. Here's your standard antenna, the standard whip for this thing. This is a Nagia, Nagia, whatever. There you go. Someone's going to ask, hey, what antenna is that? Someone's going to say. So there you go. There's that antenna for the, for the folks that are going to ask that question. But it goes into a compact little kit. And uh, most of the items, like my clothes and stuff, are going to be in this thing anyways. And I'm trying to separate this stuff so it's not too crowded and it won't get wet and ruined. So I'm storing everything in bags like this inside my kit uh, to waterproof everything. And I think that's very important. But this is the, this concludes the, um, the electronics for this kit that I'm building, this bug out bag type thing. I don't want to call it a bug out bag. I want to call it something else. So, um, uh, this concludes this kit. This is for active life, right? So, uh, this is a series. There will be more videos, uh, but please like, share, and subscribe. All right. You're watching us, Wes. I'm Stasar and Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Rainbows and unicorns. God bless. Take care.